Okay. Good morning, uh, Mr. Morrow's algebra class. We're going to go over the chapter two test, two dash one to two dash two. I'm going to go ahead and do the whole test right now uh, because there's a lot of things that you guys were doing that just didn't make sense. One thing for sure is that your fraction skills and your decimal skills need to be worked on. You must know how to work with fractions and decimals. That means you need to know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions, mixed numbers, and decimals. So let's just go through it. Please notice how when I do all of the problems, I do it in a sequential order. I show all of my work. I do not skip steps. And I show the reader what I did. Number one, 8 equals a minus 2. I've got to isolate the a so I get rid of subtraction with addition. So I add 2 to 10 to both sides. A equals 10. Nice, neat, and pretty. Number 2, negative 18 equals m plus 12. Okay, i got to isolate the m so I undo addition with subtraction. So I subtract 12 to both sides. What a lot of people fail to do is they still don't know how to add integers, which is very sad. Okay, the 12 and the negative 12 cancel, so I have m equals negative 30. When the signs are the same, you add and keep the sign. A lot of you guys forgot that. Number three, negative 4.4 equals negative 4x. I undo multiplication with division, so I divide negative 4 to both sides. With all due respect, some of you still don't know that a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Some of you guys divide it by just positive 4. But that's wrong. You have to divide by negative 4 because that is what is being multiplied to x. And then some of you don't know how to divide. You have 4.4. You must bring up the decimal. You cannot forget it. It's not a choice. Bring down the 4. So with all due respect, guys, I don't know why you got that wrong. OK? Actually, I do know why. Because you don't practice. You don't put forth the effort. OK, that's number three. Number four, h over 10 equals negative 22 over 5. The relationship between h and 10 is division. I cancel out division with multiplication. So I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of 10 over 1 to both sides. Some of us got these wrong because we still don't know how to multiply. It's very sad. You could have done it the long way and gone negative 220 divided by 5, 5 on the outside, 220 on the inside. 5 goes into 24 times. That's 2, bring down the 0. And that's going to be 44. And it's going to be a negative 44 because a negative divided by a positive is a negative. Now, that's a long way. Mr. Moore has shown you on videos and in class when we're going over homework several ways to make this quicker. But if we don't practice this, it's very difficult to master it. I had said many times before that all you have to do is cross divide if you're multiplying fractions. 5 goes into 5 one time, 5 goes into 10 two times, negative 44, and boom, you're done. You can move on. But you choose to go the long way, and then you don't learn, you don't learn how to divide. And then it all becomes a big mess. Number five. Number five. One fourth z equals two fifths. The relationship between the one fourth and the z is being multiplied. Multiplication. I cancel out multiplication by division. So when I divide a fraction, I have to divide by the reciprocal. State change flip. So I shorten that up in class. We learned the procedure to just multiply by the reciprocal. And then that's going to be numerator times numerator is 8. Denominator times denominator is 5. We have gone over this 100 times. You always turn it into a mixed number. 5 goes into 8 one time, and there's 3 fifths left over. If you want it to turn into a, a decimal, it's 1.6. How did you do that? Well, 3 fifths is 5 into 3.0. Bring up the decimal. 5 goes into 36 times. But why would you go to this extra step to waste time? You would only do that if I said, please express the answer in a decimal. Number six, k over six equals eight. The relationship between k and six is division. I cancel out division 
with multiplication. So I multiply 6 over 1, the reciprocal, to both sides. K equals 48. 7. Negative 9x equals 48. Divide by negative 9 to both sides to cancel out multiplication. X equals negative 5 um, and 1 third. Now, how did I get that? Well, 9 goes into 48 five times, which is 45. I'm left with a 3 there. So that's 5 and 3 ninths, which reduces to 5 and 1 third. Some people wanted to go ahead and go decimal route. That's fine. But some of you did it very incorrectly. This is a 3, so I have a decimal. I put up my decimal so I don't forget. And I drop down uh, the 0. 9 goes into 33 times. That's 3. Drop down my 0. So that's going to be repeating. So I would have also accepted negative 5.3 repeating. Now, some people put 5.303. I don't know how you got that, gentlemen. You may want to investigate that. 8. A plus 1 and 1 fourth equals 2 and 7 tenths. Okay. Some people were asking me during the test, oh, what do I do with this? It, it made me very sad. Because if you're asking me what do I do with this, that means that you have not studied at all. You have several choices here, but I would suggest in this case, since it's a one-step equation, the relationship between A and the 1 and 1 fourth is addition, so I subtract both sides by 1 and 1 fourth, and A will equal, well, the common denominator between 10 and 4 is 20. So I'm going to multiply 2 over 2, and that's going to become 2 and 14 twentieths, and I'm going to multiply a 5 and a 5 here to get negative 1 and 5. 20ths. And then from there, it's simply 1 and 9 20ths. Some people gave me the answer 1 and 19 20ths because they added for some reason instead of subtracting. Number 9. Okay, sorry about that interruption. So number 9, I have 5 thirds x equals eight-thirds. Well, we've gone over this a bunch of times, okay? The relationship between five-thirds and x is being, they're being multiplied, so I'm going to have to divide. So when I divide by a fraction, I multiply by the reciprocal. We've only done this, I don't know how many times. x equals eight over five, which equals one and three-fifths, okay? Very simple. Number 10, negative 70 equals 5.6. You cancel out multiplication with division. T equals negative 0.8. I don't know how many of you put just positive 8 as the answer. I don't even understand that. This is 5.6. The decimal mu must be brought up so that you don't make that mistake. 7 then goes into 56 8 times, but a positive divided by a negative is a negative, and that would be negative 0.8. Okay, move on to the two-steppers. Number 11, 6 plus 3x equals negative 18. I'm going to subtract 6 to both sides because I undo addition subtraction first. Then I have 3x equals negative 24. The signs are the same. You add and keep the sign. A lot of you guys gave me 12 as the answer. Then I cancel multiplication with division, so I divide by 3 to both sides. X equals negative 8. Number 12, 7x plus 12 equals negative 23. I undo addition with subtraction, so I subtract 12 to both sides. 7x equals negative 35. When the signs are the same, you add and keep the sign. Cancel multiplication with division, x equals negative 5. Number 13, k over 4 plus 6 equals negative 2. You want to do addition and subtraction first, so I subtract 6 to both sides. k over 4 equals negative 8. Multiply 4 to both sides to cancel out division. So you multiply by the reciprocal of 1 over 4, which is 4 over 1, and k will equal, because those 4s cancel, negative 
32. A negative times a positive is a negative. Some people gave me the answer of 4. I don't know how 4 could have been the answer. Number 14. 16 minus 3y equals 34. I undo addition and subtraction first in a two-step equation, so I subtract 16 to both sides. When the signs are different, you subtract and keep the sign of the largest absolute value. In this case, 34 minus 16 is positive 18. I cancel out multiplication with division, so I divide negative 3 to both sides. y equals negative 6. 15. Negative 9 equals y over negative 3 plus 6. I undo addition and subtraction first, so I subtract 6 to both sides. Sign to the same, you add and keep the sign. Negative 15 equals y over negative 3. y and negative 3, they're being divided, so I cancel out division with multiplication. So I multiply negative 3 over 1 to both sides. Negative times a negative is a positive, so positive 45 equals y. What did I just do here? Hold on. I completely did this wrong. Because I, let me reverse that. I did this procedure correctly. However, I wrote down the problem incorrectly. So the procedure was right, but the problem was wrong. I apologize. I should pay attention. It's a negative 6. So you undo subtraction with addition, so I add 6 to both sides. Negative 3 equals y over negative 3. Same procedure, though. You cancel out division with multiplication. So you multiply negative 3 to both sides. And that's going to be 9. 9 equals y. OK, 16. x plus 18 equals negative 4. I mean, over negative 4 equals 8. We have gone over this several, several, several times. I know that in a two-step equation, we undo addition and subtraction first. But in this particular case, this is kind of like a distributive property. We cannot really subtract 18 because you don't really have 18. What you have here is negative x over 4 minus 18 over 4. But we're going to go ahead and simplify that. And we're just going to multiply by the reciprocal of negative 4 over 1. The 4 is cancel now releasing the x plus 18, and that equals negative 32. Undo addition with subtraction. <coughs> Excuse me. Sign to the same, you add and keep the sign. Negative 50. 17. 1 fourth equals 1 fourth h plus 4. OK, I'm going to do this two ways. I'm going to do this both ways that I taught it. Because some people tried it both ways, and some people got both ways wrong. First of all, the long way, if I subtract 4 to both sides, OK, that's fine. A lot of people did that, which is great. But then, this is where they messed up. The common denominator here is 4. So yeah, they made the denominator here 4, but they left the numerator 4. That's wrong. OK? You got to multiply 4 over 4 to both top and bottom, giving you negative 16 fourths. Negative 16 fourths plus 1 fourth is negative 15 fourths. I get rid of the 1 fourth by multiplying by 4 over 1, the reciprocal, to both sides. The fourths cancel. Negative 15 equals h. Now, that's a long way that I suggested not to do. I suggested to get rid of the denominators by multiplying by the common least common denominator, which is 4 over 1. 4 times 1 fourth is 1. 4 times 1 fourth h is 1 h. And 4 times 4 is 16. Subtract 16 to both sides. Negative 15 equals h. Done. 18. 6.42 minus 10 d equals 2.5. The one mistake that you guys made here was the one warning that you forgot to listen to. And I went over this in class before the test. When you subtract, okay, to cancel out addition, you subtract. Now, here's where almost all of you messed up. 
you guys started subtracting right from here like this. So you were, you were saying to yourself, okay, um, I got a 2, and then I got a 1, and then, oh, it's 6, and then 4. And some of you got 4.12 as the answer. I have, I have never taught it like that, ever. When the signs are opposite, you subtract as normal. That is the procedure, gentlemen. 2, borrow, make that a 14, 9, and that's 3.92, negative, negative 3.92, divided by negative 10, gentlemen, D will equal, negative divided by negative, first of all, is a positive, and I had told you that when you divide by powers of 10, you move the decimal to the left as many places as there are zeros. Did I not say that? Okay, but we don't listen to Mr. Morrow, unfortunately. So fine, do it the long way. But I love the way some of you did it. You have to bring up your decimal. 10 goes into 39 three times. 10 goes into 90 nine times. Okay, and I have a number there, so I drop down a zero. 10 goes into 20 two times. 0.392. Popular answers I got was 3.92, 39.2. So unfortunately, that tells me clearly that you don't know what you're doing, unfortunately. And you don't care to learn. We have gone over decimal operations several times. So for you to make a decimal operation mistake tells me that you're not working hard enough. 19. 1 third x minus 6 equals negative 15. Undo addition, subtraction first, add 6 to both sides. 1 third x equals negative 9. When the signs are different, subtract and keep a sign of the largest absolute value. 1 third is being multiplied to x, so I cancel out multiplication, division, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. x equals negative 27. 20. Actually, let me give 20 a lot of space. I was very proud of those who got it, and I was very sad for those who didn't. This was the one problem that I had promised would be here. I gave you my word it would be here, and some of us decided to ignore me. In order to get this done efficiently, I would get rid of the denominators, and the least common denominator here is 30. So I'm going to multiply 30 over 1 to both sides. Now, a lot of people gave me this, 90 over 150. How on earth is that possible? I have never taught you to do that. What I did teach you to do, though, is numerator times numerator, which is 90. Denominator times denominator, so that's 90 over 5x. Then you got to do it over here. 30 times 2, numerator times numerator is 60. 1 times 3, denominator times denominator is 3. Then here, um, actually you can cross divide. 6 goes into 6 one time, 6 goes into 35 times, so that's 25. 90 divided by, by 5 is uh, uh, 18. So I got 18x plus 20 equals 25. Subtract 20 to both sides, 18x equals 5, divided by 18, x equals 5 eighteenths. If you did not get that, it's because you chose not to practice. Now, the word problems. I promised you that there would be word problems, and some of you still decide to ignore me. It said clearly, define a variable. A lot of you did not define a variable. <coughs> Chip earns a base salary of $500 per month. Plus, um, in addition to his salary, he earns $90 per product P. If his goal is to earn $5,000, how many products did he sell? Okay. That's the equation. you got to say that P is number of products. 
Some of you guys put per product. That's not correct. It's $90. $90 is what he earns per product. But P is just the number of products, not per product. It doesn't make sense. So now I subtract like normal. It's Mickey Mouse. 90P equals 4,500 divided by 90. P equals 50 products. Twenty-two. Uh, pizza shop charges nine dollars for a large pizza, plus a dollar twenty-five for every additional topping. T. Heather paid fifteen twenty-five for a large pizza. How many toppings did she order? I'm going to go ahead and define T as number of toppings, not per toppings, but number of toppings. Now, this is where I cried. Most people subtracted the 9 here. Good job. Now, this is where I just didn't know what you did. Do you know how most of you went like this? Minus 9. Oh, that's 15.16. Now, again, that mistake is not a mistake of, oh, it was just careless. No, you don't know what you're doing. I'm sorry. Minus 9.00. You have to line up the decimals. Five, two, six. So that's six point twenty-five. Divided by one point twenty-five. Let me go ahead and fix that. Divided by one point twenty-five. Divided by one point twenty-five. T equals five toppings. How did I do that? Well, I've been doing this a long time, but I did show my work on my test. One, two to the right, one, two to the right, bring up the decimal so you don't forget. 125 goes perfectly five times. And last but not least, 23. John mowed several lawns and earned money for camp. After spending $17 for gas, he had $75 left over to pay towards camp. Write and solve an equation to find how much money John earned mowing lawns. Okay, a bunch of mistakes here. First of all, we don't know how much he made. But we do know he spent $17. And we do know he's got $75 left over. X equals money earned. A lot of you guys put number of lawns mowed. I don't even understand that. It asks for Find how much money John earned mowing lawns. How much money John earned mowing lawns. So it's how much money did he earn, not how many lawns did he mow. Now you just add 17. X equals $92. And that is the test. And I think we did it in about 15 minutes. Roughly. So it's not because I'm a genius, guys. It's because I know the procedures. I believe in every single one of you. But the question is, are you willing to give the effort that you have to give to succeed? Thank you very much. God bless you.